Good evening students. Today I am presenting the video on partnership basics, the fundamentals chapter 2. Whatever we have done in the class, in this video I am going to recap it with you, revise again with you so that you are well versed with the terminologies used in the cha chapter. We had seen in class what is the meaning of partnership. That is the relationship between persons who have agreed to share the profits of the business carried on by all or any of them acting for all. It means in partnership there are at least two persons who are having some relations between each other to share the profits of the business. And this line carried on by all or any of them acting for all. We know that this line gives the agency relationship among the partners. This I have already explained you. Now if you go to see the nature of partnership. According to the legal viewpoint, partnership does not have a separate legal entity because it is not advised or it is not required to be registered. Once it is registered, it, it occupies a separate legal entity distinct from its owners. But from the accounting point of view, the partnership and the firm are two separate entities. That means we are maintaining accounts from the point of view of the firm also as well as from the point of view of the partners. Thereafter, we have seen the features of partnership. That is two or more persons. As we know, a single person cannot constitute partnership. At least two people are required to form a partnership firm. Thereafter, maximum number. We know that maximum number in partnership is 50. As per the Indian Companies Act 2013, it gave the, to the government of India that there, there can be maximum 100 members in partners in partnership but the government has approved only up to 50 so the maximum number the minimum is 2 and the maximum is 50 okay now agreement there has to be an agreement amongst the partner for to form a partnership firm this agreement needs to be in writing or in oral Thereafter, it should be a lawful business. Partnership cannot be there for any illegal business. It has to be legal. Thereafter, the motive should be to share profits amongst the partners. And the agency relationship, the final feature as I have underlined over here also, that every partner is an agent as well as the principal Explain. of the firm. Okay, So, that has already been explained to you. Agency relationship means every partner is an agent as well as the principal. When he acts on behalf of the firm, he acts as an agent. And when he works with all the partners for the by consultation with all the partners, he behaves like a principal as the main. Okay. Now, next aspect what is there in the topic is regarding the rights of partners. Every partner in the partnership firm has a right to participate in the affairs of the business. So he has a right to participate in all the affairs of the business. He has a right to consult on, for the important affairs of the business organization. He has a right to inspect the books of accounts of the firm. Then if the partner has advanced loan to the firm, that is over and above his capital. If he has advanced loan to the firm, he is entitled to get interest at the rate of 6% per annum. Thereafter, no partner can be admitted in the firm without the consent of all the partners. If, even if a single person says no, no partner can be admitted. Retirement. Similarly, no partner can all of a sudden retire from the firm. He can give a notice period of one month and then he can leave the firm. Thereafter, the final right of the partner is 
he must behave or act in its own capacity that is he must act wisely wherever it is required he should be able to take important decisions for himself as a partner as well as for the firm for which it behaves okay so this was the things for what we have already done in the class so it was just a recap for all of you now next aspect you all know is regarding the partnership deed Yes, students. The next topic which we have we which we have to revise is regarding partnership deed. What is partnership deed? You have already started in class eleventh. A deed is a written agreement amongst the partners, deciding upon the terms and conditions, rules and regulations about their partnership form. So, describing the partners. the names and addresses of the partner the name of the firm the place at which the firm will be located the nature of the business to be carried out by the partnership firm the capital contributed by the partners the amount of drawings to be made by each partner interest on capital to be allowed interest on drawings to be taken from the partners salary commission remuneration interest on loan etc there are 20 points in which the partnership deed describes that if it is decided in the deed the partners will act accordingly and they will follow the deed which is a written agreement which is signed by all the partners so if there is a deed that deciding all terms and conditions of partnership there is no problem there is no issue at this time but the next topic of the chapter speaks about that in case a partnership do the all the partners do not form a partnership deed then what will happen how will the pro provisions will settle we all know that in absence of the partnership deed the act the law will apply to the partnership firm that is partnership act 1932 okay partnership act 1932 will automatically apply in absence of partnership deed now over here which are the matters which can be settled by the deed there are if there is not if the deed is silent on these points how should the partners behave or how should they solve the problems number 1 the deed is not providing about the profit or loss then the pro provision speaks that all partners will share the profits and losses equally irrespective of the capital contributed by them in the second case if the deed is silent on whether to provide interest on capital or no then no interest will be provided to any partner no interest on capital will be provided interest on drawings whether it is to be charged or no same way no interest on drawings will be charged from any partner see i have spoken the word interest on capital to be allowed and interest on drawings to be charged because interest on capital is given to the partners by the firm and interest on drawings is given by the partners to the firm so it is opposite okay then advance loan if a partner has advanced a loan to the firm and the deed is silent that what interest should be provided to them then interest will be provided at the rate of 6% per annum no partner can claim higher interest that i have provided loan so give me 10% no he cannot claim 10% but he will get 6% per annum as per the time period of the loan if he has advanced loan in between the year for that much months only the interest will be provided thereafter salary commission remuneration to any partner nothing will be allowed to the partner no salary no commission no remuneration will be provided to the partners if it is not there in the deed if it is absent in the deed thereafter admission 
we have already seen up amongst the rights of the partner that unless and until all the partners agree to the admission of any partner then only a new partner can be admitted to the firm even if one says no the firm the new partner cannot be admitted in the partnership firm so these are the provisions of the partnership act in absence of partnership deed